High Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind this Citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archean who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothis. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we despair. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. Then maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So, where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look! It's Umbra! Someone's sending us a message. blessing. Will the path to the stone be opened? The oracle goes hence in her king's name. Luna, where is she now? The eye of the storm. <sighs> when the covenant is forged, the oracle and ring shall await their king at the walls of water. Stray not from the path. She's a messenger, a spirit, faithful to the Oracle. Uh, for real? <laughs> We're going beyond real now, pal. Let Luna know I'm okay, and she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind, that we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait. So my dad's guarding it? Yes. I had no idea. To crown the King of Light is the calling of the crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the Chosen. 
Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. Hmm? To aid the king is the Oracle's calling. Then... I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Unto the king alone this voice is heard. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth it strikes, the storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. Lady Lunafreya has done well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. All we need to do is hit Altitia. That entails passage aboard a ship. Kayim may serve us now as it did them then. The Hidden Harbor. <laughs> Just my work. Well, howdy. Pleasure doing business with you. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Uh, let me get this shot. Oh, love the lighting. Let's go. You know how chocobo smell really bad? But it's like a good kind of bad smell. If you really feel that way, they could probably use you in the stables.
Thanks for the ride. Nice riding with you.
Behind you! Safety first, everybody! First Titan, now Rama. Chasing down deities is hard work. Think how Lady Luna Freya must feel. If the strain of the rites is as Gentiana... Imperials above us! Thanks. Yeah! Ah, not the time for horseplay! My hand slipped. Prince is recovering well. Who? Gentiana, my messenger. The prince has read of our kind? Oh, I tried to, but I only know what Luna told me. Hmm. Lady Luna Freya. Yeah, Luna f for Luna. It is heartening to see the future king and the Oracle enjoy such familiarity. The fate of our world may depend on it. I remember back in Tenebrae with Gentiana. The revelation of the Storm Sender awaits the King. Hurry hence to the eye of the storm. Foreign hordes fear the true King's ascension. The fearful seek to seal the path of what must come. What is it? A another headache? I heard her. Gentiana. Divine voices in your head again? Hopefully it won't amount to the same headache it did with the Archean. The Oracle's call awakens the gods, that their blessings find the king. You all right? What did she say? Ah, uh, that Luna's awakening the six. Last thing I need now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. Don't be late. Immaculate. We're on the same page. You won't miss your nice guy! Can't stop not. Gladio! Problems? Nothing warns you yet. I'll play it by ear then. Not. Back me up! Uh-huh! We needn't waste more time! Yeah. Say goodnight. 
Starving to death, and yet we're all very much alive. Oh. That lady's helping you out anyway. Gentiana? Yeah. Is she like your fairy godmother or something? I think she's more a messenger of the gods. Whoa.
thought we lost you for a second.
That's it. What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it.
What the hell? I can't get a hold of her. Iris? She call you? No messages. So is Gentiana, you know, human? Not quite. Well, not exactly gods. A magic engine. It's close. I'm going all out. Just don't get too carried away. You're one to talk. Oh, Iris's story about Lady Luna Freya coming through town was true after all. Judging by the timing of their visit, she probably set course for the Archean as soon as she fled the Crown City. Hm. You really owe her big time, Noct. Can't wait to thank her in person. But the revelation awaits. Make now for the storm sender and let judgment be passed. Knocked! You okay? Yeah. Another reminder to receive the blessing. That divine power is just waiting for you. the runestone, the portal to power. No other can be allowed to find it. <sighs> the last one's in the cave. Let's hurry up and get this 